します。Good morning from Miami Beach. This is Dr. John Bennett, broadcasting for Neurosurgical TV, the ACLNS、uh, webinar number three. And we're honored to have Hiratoshi Sano, a neurosurgeon from Japan, also an author. He's written an autobiography. But first, let me turn it over to、uh, Raja Krishnan Kuti, a neurosurgeon from India. Welcome, Raja. Hello and good evening to all. Today is a very special day. We have a very special guest for the first of the master series of webinar for the ACNS. Professor Hiroto Sano, I welcome you, Sensei, to this distinguished lecture of yours. Professor Sano is known for、uh, the educational activities and、uh, for promoting the educational activities of, for the young neurosurgeons and residents, especially in Southeast Asia and rest of the world. And we have many special guests today, Professor Robinson Gupta from Newcastle. I welcome you, sir, Professor Dev Chandrasekhar Dev Pujari from Mumbai. I also welcome you, sir, Professor Ibrahim, and many distinguished guests as well as all the previous fellows at the Bantane. I welcome you all. Liu is my co-host today. Welcome, Liu. And with that, we'll start the distinguished lecture of Professor Sano. Sano Sinsai, please take over, sir. Okay. はい。Hello,、uh, hello everybody, and uh, uh, this is great pleasure to speak about uh, the, uh, the today's uh, the workshop and、uh, talking about the advantage of the surgical treatment of the intracranial aneurysm.、Uh, recently, the, 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 the IVR is very increased, but、uh, the big advantage in the surgery, I would like to. Speak about that. One of the、uh, big advantages is、uh, original artery reconstruction makes、uh, what is the make of the artery to original shape,、uh, which are the good made.、Uh, for example, this is、uh, one of the、uh, case of the middle cell the artery, and th this is the operative view of the.、Uh, this is the aneurysm of the.、Uh, Here you see, and the, put the temporal clip on. And first, I would like to, to put about the clip like this, this way. First one, the, this, and second one, put the, like this way. However, if we put it, the first one,、uh, it's impossible to make the, the, the、uh, parallel to the artery. Then, clip is removed. And And can to to the、uh, parallel to the perpendicular, like this way. And put the、uh, uh, first clip here, and this aneurysm can see the original arterial line very well. Here is the original arterial line. Then we put、uh, the second clip on the original arterial line, like this way, perpendicular. Then remove the temporal clip off, and I, I was amazing. Look at this is the original artery, just that the got which got made. So we reconstructed that the artery in the original position. This is a surgery. This is the only the surgical treatment can possible. And if、uh, this is aneurysm, if we try to the、uh, the parallel to the artery, it's impossible. But perpendicularly, you can reconstruct the original artery itself. This is a, one of the big advantage. Next one, we are the, the dome coagulation. Change the aneurysm shape to 
easy clippable shape by dome coagulation. This is the second advantage. Uh, this is uh, another middle shelf artery aneurysm. And this is the, the one. Uh, this is a, uh, uh, here you see mid, middle cell artery aneurysm. This is a one other uh, operative view. And, uh, sorry, uh, we, uh, time lag, then we'll try to change a little bit. Uh, And this is uh, the operative view with a vein. And then we uh, uh, draw the, uh, the uh, schema before the surgery. I am always drawing the schema before the surgery. Uh, maybe we can see like this and like uh, we will put a clip like this way. And so this is operation. Yeah, video is a little bit not so good. Uh, not smooth. Oh. But uh, anyway, we are. Uh, the, the, this pain, maybe uh, I would like to cut the, 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 this pain. And, and then now using the ICG showing the flow is still remained even uh, putting the temporary clip on the vein. Uh, Video is not uh, not so good. Mm. And then we can cut that point of the vein. Yeah. And coagulate the uh, aneurysm dome to to change the shape, yeah. Uh, yeah, video is very, not so good moving. Um, ha, 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 ha. But uh, anyway, and surgery is always bloodless. No blood all the way. and coagulate the dome itself to change the shape. Mm -hmm. ah, okay. okay, this will be skip because of the... Mm. And uh, this one will be skip. Yeah, and then original uh, at first aneurysm is like this shape. However, uh, to coagulation of the aneurysm to change like this, then easy to clippable. A uh, first one here and second one here, like this way, using uh, the temporary clip four times with uh, then within uh, five minutes. Then. Uh, post operatively, uh, it's not, yeah, post operatively, this is a, a, a post operative 3D CT angio showing the, the uh, like this. And, uh, and without creep, then it's uh, almost like the original artery reconstruction. 
of the MCV are larger nucleus. So this is a dome coagulation technique. And not changing. And next one is uh, sometimes the fixer clip, usually the, the, uh, we are uh, putting the clip, uh, moving the clip, but uh, sometimes fix the clip and the anus moves adjust to, uh, to the clip. This is anterior communicating artery anusum. Oh, it's not coming. It's not coming. Yeah. This is anterior communicating artery anusum. Mm. Uh -huh. And this is A2 of the left side. Uh, and this uh, this is aneurysm. Mm. This is the, the, the right side A2. And this is a neck. And, and put the clip in. Usually we adjust the clip itself, but uh, because of the bone, clip cannot move anymore at a time you may fix the clip itself and pull the aneurysm into the uh, into the clip pull the aneurysm and move the aneurysm inside of the uh, clip this is also very nice technique then uh, just a position we can put the clip on. See, very nicely it's clipped. And remove the temporary clip off. And check the endos uh, endoscope. So, And usually apply the clip to the aneurysm, but sometimes fix the clip and apply an aneurysm to the clip. And this case, this next one is a difficult case for IVR. Yeah, this is uh, the ACOM aneurysm, uh, the fenestration, ACOM fenestration. Aneurysm is the up, uh, upper and downside. Inside of the fenestration, aneurysm there. Here is uh, the aneurysm, yeah. And if you look at the interhemi like this, but it's very difficult to clip it. But, and if you approach the right side like this, this is also impossible to clip. But uh, if you look at left side, you can uh, clip here. And, and then, And then we do a picture, uh, yes, like this way. And then uh, uh, we are looking at the neck part and use the ring. 
then we operate. Again, the video is a little bit delayed. You see, this is the, the left side of the regional approach. And here is the unusual. And don't part was progress. And then uh, this was coagulate and put a temporary clip on coagulate of the upper part to change the shape of the aneurysm easy pattern. And down, downward, there is a hypothalamic artery. So we put the hypothalamic artery away and use the, the ring clip like this way. If you use the ring, uh, ring clip, you have to adjust the blade first and then the ring part second. And ICG shows very nice. But uh, like that. Then we did like uh, like uh, the, almost the same pattern before we draw using the temporary clip about three minutes. Very interesting. Yeah, uh, uh, sounds change. Yeah, and put a temporary clip on and quadrate of the here and put a clip on. Unusual behind the parent artery, you, you have to use a penetrated clip. And this is a post operative. 3D CT angel showing very nice. If you remove the other uh, clip, here is a penetration like that. And if you use uh, use the, the penetrated clip, you have to adjust the clip two point tip and ring simultaneously. Second one is mouth clipping. And mouth clipping, you have to make the image to the final pattern first, and then put the clip the deeper first, and deeper first, then uh, closer second. And And if you put a clip on, uh, you have to concentrate. Oh, hey, come on. You have to concentrate the tip of the clip blade. The left part will be clipped by the second clip. So only you have to concentrate the uh, tip of the clip. Uh, for example, this is this is the uh, ECOM aneurysm, 83 years age, but uh, the dome is uh, the web is uh, looks very easy to rupture. That is the reason we try to operate. However, uh, one branch one branch is uh, coming from the aneurysm dome. So it's a very difficult. Then uh, we move the, the uh, 3D CT and make the image. Here is the, the plate and and with Mm -hmm. 
and we well, it's not coming. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, it's a, uh, uh, here you see with a uh, optic nerve and and then uh, so we scheduled the uh, put the uh, preserve this branch, preserve this branch, and and use a ring clip and uh, straight clip combination. Then start the surgery. Yeah, a red pan is a, the, the bleb. It looks easy to rupture. And, and the, the, the one plant is coming from the dome of the anus itself. Yeah, here you see this, this is a, the one branch is coming from the dome of the anus. Then we dissect whole of the anus and put, use a ring clip jumping up the, the uh, preserving of the, the branch and put the, the second clip. And then we check it. It's uh, ruptured. Then we add the one more clip on the uh, upper part. Then nicely reconstructed. Yeah, like this way. That means uh, using the a temporary clipping time. Maybe. First, uh, the we did uh, this, this branch. We have to preserve. Then we use the ring clip and uh, uh, curved clip, uh, close the, the penetration, and uh, one more clip we add. It's nicely finished. Post-operatively, uh, 3D CT showing. Showing nicely reconstructed, and here you see the the oh, it's not moving. Sorry. It's not moving. Yeah, on the this part, one small part was uh, remained, and from that branch is coming. Then nicely reconstructed, and patient is completely well. And the, about the growth of the anus, recently, uh, IVR is very increasing, surgery is decreasing down. But if thinking about the de novo, uh, more in IVR cases. And this is the middle cerebral artery aneurysm and then a wide neck. And to this case, uh, yeah, this is the operative view, and then uh, and also anterior communicating aneurysm was there. Yes, anterior communicating aneurysm here also. Then we operate. Uh, maybe anterior communicating aneurysm, and the second one will be like this. Then uh, we are going to the surgery. And the first, until communicating aneurysm first.
and put the clip on the anti-communicating as usual pattern. And then going to the uh, MCA aneurysm. Here you see the wide neck aneurysm and put a temporary clip on and dome coagulation and to change the shape, easy to clipable pattern. Here you see, and uh, here is the branch. Then put two clips. This is the first clip and only concentrate of the tip of the aneurysm. And second clip. Put the, the, the uh, left of the aneurysm and ICG showing very good. We did like that way. And post-operative, uh, maybe MCA is a little bit narrow, but one year afterward, MCA enlarged almost the same size. Two years afterward, it's okay. Three years, it's uh, no change. Like yeah, like that, but four years afterward, it's a little bit enlarged. Oh, it's enlarged. There is a the denubo of the four years afterward. Then we think about that uh, we have to treat again. Then if we put uh, the that position and removing of the clip. Here you see uh, only this branch is, uh, is, is uh, maybe we will cut here by clip and other branch can be bypassed and alternation of the flow. So we scheduled and then uh, we put a, a clip to alternation of the flow and only this branch was uh, remained by creep and other one is by bypass. Then uh, Dr. Minanua did uh, the bypass pass. And then we are going to the aneurysm. So we changed, uh, operator changed to me and going to the, the uh, surgery. This is an old clip. And dissecting the old clip. Uh, only one clip have to remove. Then we, uh, we cut the, 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 uh, around the, the second clip and, and uh, uh, we are cutting the on clip using 18 gauge needle and tissue should be cut by 18 gauge needle on the clip. Yeah, just on the clip we can cut. And then put a temporary clip on and maybe uh, move the clip and open and close and open and close. Then uh, uh, to, to put it can be, it's possible to be moving. 
Now that clip was removed. Then uh, there is a space to put uh, the, another clip on. Then again, we are uh, fragmenting the, the dome to change the shape, easy to clipable. So this is this point is uh, the next part, and only the, the main trunk remains. Other other aneurysm was clipped. using some uh, clips. And check the, uh, the ICG. And how we did it is uh, the, from uh, this part, we removed this one. And then uh, uh, obliteration from here and here. And this one is from the bypass. Then patient was okay and um, uh, aneurysm was completely gone. Like that. The second case, no. uh, it, the same case was coming also very wide neck of the middle cellular artery aneurysm. And now, so with the vein, then we uh, draw a picture like this and uh, uh, alternation of the flow and one branch was bypass. And we ask you to the, make the one branch to bypass. And and check the by ICG. And going to aneurysm. Here is the aneurysm. And uh, this red one is of the branch. This one was uh, the by bypass, flow by bypass. Then only the main trunk remained by clip. So we put the temporary clip on. And forget of the dome to easy to understand how to put the clip. Dome corrugation is very, very nice technique. I, uh, maybe uh, 40 years ago, I draw the, uh, the paper. And alternation of the flow, only the one branch remained And um, that, that branch was uh, obliterated by a uh, clip. Then ICG showing nice. We did, we obliterated of the only remained one branch and another branch was by bypass. So it, I, I don't think it's uh, recurrent, never recurrent. This is a post-operative, post-operative uh, 3D CT angio showing good. And another case of the middle severity giant. And this one was a uh, little bit difficult to but uh, we use the noble seat and the clip like that. 
then uh, about 10 years, it's no recurrent. So Nobel seat is a, a, a pretend to the recurrent. So um, uh, reduce of the degrowth of the rate, maybe add lapping around the, the neck after the clipping. This is a this is a, the, the Nobel seat, and with glue, it's very very strong. Yeah, sometimes we can make a, 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 this kind of uh, ring clip. And eight, eight weeks afterward, uh, collagen fiber reduced, introduced. And uh, last part, collagen fiber introduced. And lap and clip using Nobel seed. Nobel seed introduced collagen fiber in a few months later to pretend the recurrence. And the brister case, aneurysm case. This is a brister aneurysm and difficult to IVR and also uh, either clip, clip is very difficult. It's very sweepable. At the time, you may put the Nobel seat, pretend the stripping. Then it's pretend to, to sweep and nicely creep it. Like that. And uh, fruitiform aneurysm is also difficult. Here you see this is a fruitiform aneurysm of the middle cell artery. And we draw a picture as usual, like, like that. And this is a surgery of the middle cell artery. And put a temporary clip on. And here is a very fragile aneurysm of the fruitful shape. Then we put the clip. One, two, maybe three clips. And this is a temporary clip and check the ICG and nice the size. Then we put the Nobel seat complete, completely like that. Then uh, we did like this way. And another case of the another middle cell artery and free form shape like that. And it's the, uh, uh, growing up, then we operate. And the schedule may be like this pattern. So this is a surgery. And here you see much uh, breb aneurysm. And it looks very fragile. So we put a temporary clip on and coagulate to easy to clipable. And this one, it looks very easy to strip away of the clip. Then first we lap the aneurysm using Nobel sheet. On the Nobel sheet, we put the clip on. So to prevent to the sleep out. 
लगता है एंड रिमूव द टेम्पर क्रिप एंड चेक द आईसीजी एंड देन कंप्लीटली लैपिंग to no prevention uh, no uh, uh, degloss like that and we did like that that and using the temper clip about uh, twice of uh, about 5 minutes like this and and also next one is the giant aneurysm in case of the giant aneurysm or physical aneurysm perforators are arising from the aneurysm dome Only the surgery can can possible to uh, to to to, uh, to reconstruct of the artery. Uh, at first, ecom aneurysm. This is ecom aneurysm. Uh, uh, this is the operative view. Maybe we will do like this way. This is a uh, surgery. Uh, Light. Tejonal approach. So we put a temporary clip on the left A1 and right A1, and dissect the aneurysm. If the artery, its parent artery, is the fore side, and aneurysm itself is uh, the deeper part. You have to deconstruct the uh, artery using ring clip. Here you see the aneurysm, and then we use a ring clip to obliterate the, the aneurysm part. Maybe many clips, and sometimes we release the temporary clip off and on. About uh, five to ten minutes each. Then sometimes we use the, the endoscope. So we reconstruct the, the artery four side. And always, operative field is bloodless. I don't like the red blood cell is swimming in a CSF. Always, bloodless surgery should be done. Then all blood is preserved and ICG showing very good. Then we did like this one to clip like this and maybe like that way. Then post-operative. Post-operative, uh, we like uh, like this um, nicely reconstructed. And second is almost the same, but uh, the, uh, this will be skip uh, all almost the same pattern. We reconstruct the artery uh, forward and. Yeah, we are post-operative 3D CT angio showing very nicely reconstructed. So, and and this is the, the uh, giant internal coated anterior artery annulus, partially thrombosed. Here you see giant. Uh, partially thrombosed aneurysm. This looks like a large aneurysm, but partially thrombosed. This is aneurysm, 
and superficial artery is here. And opposite side, there is a, the anterior colloidal artery. It's, it, yeah, this is the anterior colloidal artery. It's related. And both artery paprika is very important. Then, uh, very difficult to preserve the both the, uh, arteries. Then we put uh, uh, one ring clip and another ring clip to put it, put it on. And here you see anterior artery preserved. Uh, clip was just stopped. And and super artery is coming from between two uh, two clips. And the interoperative angiography showing us still remained. However, one week after that, it's completely tumbled. What we did, uh, we put the two clips, preserved one, uh, uh, Antepodal artery preserved here and the superficial artery preserved here. And that means if the, the uh, put the end of the clip uh, was put on the end of the aneurysm, maybe it's all, all the time it uh, remain. But both sides, if it's uh, put the clip on like this way, this uh, uh, aneurysm will be. Uh, obliterate. If on uh, if the, there is a perforator on the, that aneurysm, only perforator preserved. This is a small trick, but very important. And preservation of the branch and perforator. This is uh, the one of the antepodal at a giant aneurysm. It was ruptured case. And so patient was sent to at the university hospital, and uh, we have to operate. Yeah, anterior colloidal artery is coming from the aneurysm wall. Here you see, then we have to preserve uh, this anterior colloidal artery, otherwise patient will be um, uh, hemiplegia. Then we uh, suction decompression and then um, uh, punctured of the aneurysm and put a clip on to reconstruct the antepodal artery and also artery itself. And uh, and here you see antepodal artery preserved and. Yeah, you see anterior artery. Under the anterior artery, we put the clip in and nicely reconstructed. So, uh, this is anterior artery. We have to preserve only by clip. And this is huge aneurysm of the anterior artery. And only Surgery is possible to deconstruct the anterior uh, coital artery. And we put uh, the uh, bypass and then to preserve prevention of the uh, middle cell artery territory. And put a temporary clip on and suction decompression from the neck and uh, ECOM and suction decompression uh, nicely. Uh, 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 aneurysm is uh, uh, reduced. And then uh, this is anterior artery. Then we have to reconstruct the, the uh, anterior artery using the clip. Like that. And like this pattern and putting the uh, clip on. Like this. 
then maybe uh, because of the time we we'll skip and like that we did and post operative nicely reconstructed but we have to use the, the hypothermia and then the manito and in case of the artery and perforator arising from the aneurysm wall possibly by only by surgery and this is the final case in uh, uh, Robin things that we did uh, that, uh, maybe two years back. And then uh, so uh, 3D CT showing and like that. Then we drew a picture always and the Son of Sengupta Academy and then uh, probably we are doing. And Dr. Komatsu is, uh, is did that uh, he is an uh, assist for the uh, suction decompression and the operation was done. Now, then aneurysm in the internal carotid artery is here. This is internal carotid and, but aneurysm looks very fragile, very thin walled. I am scared, but uh, the, we have to uh, put a clip on. Um, otherwise, this patient was suffering hemorrhage. Then suction decompression was nicely decompressed. Nicely decompressed, but this part, it looks very thin walled. Anyway, we put the clip on. Like this, one clip. But here you see this part is very fragile. But, and the anterior artery here, and the second clip. Then we asked to the, open the internal carotid artery. Look at, it's ruptured. Oh, Jesus Christ. Then anyway, we asked to the, put the, the uh, uh, like a uh, reiteration of the internal carotid artery. Usually, maybe think about the trapping, but if we drop maybe patient to hemiplegia, then we put the neobial seat on a, a ruptured area and on the neobial seat, put a clip on. This is nice technique. If the, the breathing is small part, maybe it's possible. And this clip removed and usual uh, a link grip we use. And, and another nervous seat putting on and uh, put the clip on the uh, a little deeper and make the, the artery uh, enlarged. And also you have to use a straight grip uh, to obliterate, it's very good. Then this is a temporary clip off and asking of the internal artery open, maybe nice uh, the pulsation and ICD showing good. So we finish the surgery and using uh, the uh, completely wrap using the neobel seat. And, and like that way. So advantage of the surgery is one is the original artery reconstruction. Another one is a dome coagulation to change the shape of to uh, operable and reduce the recurrence by lapping. Uh, because uh, surgery is uh, the outside of the outside of the approach. It's possible because of the uh, uh, surgery, the outside of the approach of the uh, artery and anus. Then uh, that is the reason we can do the attach of the intima to the artery, artery by clip. And the change the shape uh, because of the outside approach, change the shape of the aneurysm by dome coagulation. And also enforcement by lapping. This one is only the outside approach, then it's possible. So not clipping by the IVR. But yeah.
select the cases for clipping or IVR. And uh, easy to approaching, maybe clipping is better. But the difficult for approaching by surgery, maybe IVR uh, is better. So pre-operating uh, image, you have to uh, draw. Then actual surgery will be the second one. Then we never mistake, we never fail. For skill of the new surgery, image of the preoperative view before the surgery, which 60% by imaging eye, 40% by actual eye, move hand freely and become in nothingness during the surgery. So we are uh, showing the, the uh, Sano Sengupta Academy on aneurysm surgery in, uh, in Calcutta. And this is um, I, I and uh, Robin, my dear Robin Sengupta. And so next one is uh, unfortunately uh, the postponed because of the corona. Uh, the operation is not a circus, but uh, operation is like uh, walking, the, uh, walking on a balance beam from low one, maybe the kid, to the, the Olympic player, high. And doing difficult thing in a difficult way is average, but uh, doing easy things in a difficult way is poor. Doing the difficult thing in an easy way is a master. So you will be a master someday. Thank you for your attention. Oh, it's excellent. Excellent to Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, video is not uh, quickly moved, so the story, but. Uh, um. Yes. Hi. 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 Hello. Hello. Sana Sensei, how are you doing? Yeah, yeah, good. I enjoy. <laughs> yes, I, I remember many years back, 13, 14 years back, being in your roti trying to learn from you. Mm. Yeah, we enjoyed your place. <laughs> in Nepal. Yeah. Uh, I cannot catch your voice. You you may mute. Hello, can you hear oh. us, sir? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Thank you very much for the fabulous lecture, Professor Sano. Uh, there are two questions which have popped up in the list. Uh, one is from Professor Dev Pujari himself, who has uh, asked, does the covering by surgical cell collagen or cotton, black, cotton block view, block your view from the uh, I use a neobel seat that will be absorbed um, maybe the a uh, few uh, few months, but uh, the uh, uh, the collagen fiber introduced that area, then very natural, and collagen fiber is a very strong. But does it block your view while clipping? Hmm. Adam? He's asking, does it, Professor Chand Pujari has to unmute himself. Dear Pujari sir, can you please unmute yourself? Does it block your view while clipping? Does it allow you to clip properly because of the outside covering at the ruptured spot or in a blister aneurysm? Can you get the neck properly to put the clip then? Yeah, uh, yeah, maybe uh, yeah, it, uh, the, the one is uh, the non-slip, uh, prevent to slip, and uh, that kind of the aneurysm, easy to slip, but uh, the lap of the uh, aneurysm and put a clip on is uh, the prevent to slip. Another one is uh, the few months afterward, it uh, introduced a collagen fiber. Then, but uh, the, you have to lap uh, more and otherwise, the, the uh, very thin uh, uh, material, then uh, uh, maybe uh, must be thick uh, on the prevention of the lapping yeah, itself. 
Thank you. Are there any more questions? Ibrahim yes. has something. Yeah, please, Professor Ibrahim. Hello. Thank you, Professor Sano, for this very interesting presentation. It's very nice to see you. Long time, we did not see you. Yeah. Uh, thank you for uh, so many uh, practical uh, tips that you gave us. Uh, I want to emphasize what you said about the drawing, drawing of the schema before you clip the aneurysm. Mm -hmm. uh, drawing it before and drawing it after. With any other yeah. system, whether it's a clipping or a tumor, drawing gives the information that no writing, no typewriting can give. Uh, yeah. My the specific question for you, during your practice, how many times did you need to clip or to uh, coagulate the junction of the superficial middle cerebral vein with the sphenoparietal signs? And when you did that, were there any consequences for that? So the junction yeah. of the superficial middle cerebral vein with the sphenoparietal signs. Uh, but the, 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 uh, very few times, but the, the, if we need, and usually superficial vein, and a uh, Y shaped, maybe uh, this one is uh, possible to cut it. But uh, the, uh, before cutting, we are putting the temporary clip on the vein and then uh, check the ICG of the venous flow. And if even uh, put a, a clip on, uh, the flow is still remain. That time you can cut. Otherwise, maybe it's uh, the stacked maybe you never cut. Uh, so uh, we are checking the by ICG. And another one is uh, uh, about uh, the uh, uh, drawing, uh, preoperative image. I am always imaging of the how, uh, how look like in the inside of the surgery. I, uh, I did the imaging surgery before. And then the, the, the and then also the, what kind of the clip we use? Oh, I already almost decided. Then, and so the surgery itself is uh, for me, it, uh, it's a second time surgery. Then I never failed, I, I can say. And, and afterward, I do it again and check the preoperative and postoperative. And if it's uh, the, the different, we are uh, 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 checking how it was uh, 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 not uh, the same. Then we check and then, then any, uh, every time we are checking and then image up, uh, next time is uh, much better. And then, then now a day is almost 95% uh, is uh, the, uh, the surgery is the same as the, 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 my image before the surgery. And the clip is also, uh, 90% is the same clip we are using. Thank you. One of the principles I remember, Professor Sano, you yes. actually told us uh, in theater while taking once the, uh, the vein from the sphenoid ridge was that you always take which is a dominant kind of a venous drainage. Is it the superficial middle cerebral vein or the vein of labi? And uh, no, 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 vein of labi is ridiculous. <laughs> no. right. Mm. So, if, if the posterior venous circulation is good, probably you can take the anterior vein, but uh, mm. not otherwise. Yeah, not so big vein, but uh, even a small, we, we don't like to cut it. But uh, if uh, impossible to cut, then that time we are checking the, the ICG of the venous flow. Uh, then, uh, if it's uh, still flowing, uh, then we can cut it. Okay. One of the questions I would like to ask you is that in one of the videos you showed that there were two aneurysms. One was an ACN and one was AC, ACOM. You clipped the ACOM first instead, uh, after, before clipping the MCA. Why did you choose to clip the ACOM first and not the MCA first? Uh, because uh, the, the deeper one first. Otherwise, uh, if you use the shallow one first, you are maybe it uh, creepy disturbed to, to uh, approaching the deeper one. Then uh, uh, approaching is uh, the shallow one, one to deeper one, but the creeping is uh, the deeper one to shallow one. 
that get full followed because because of the retraction you required for the a com many fear that it may actually rupture the mca so on the way there is a thought process that you clip which is first and then go to the deeper one but yeah, but, but, the, but the usually on the 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 uh uh the uh, the 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 maybe the thinking is on now uh, we did uh, the mca first and then are uh, going to ecom and any time we can put a temporary clip on a m uh, m1 but uh, the clip itself should be deeper one first that uh, the, the uh, before uh, maybe 20 years ago we went to the uh, bni and uh, 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 Lo mm. uh, Robert Spetsa did the 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 uh uh I he aneurysm and but the, the I look at the the, the 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 opposite side of the uh uh parkinoid aneurysm there and the, uh, after the clipping I said that uh, Robert uh, how come you don't uh, the check the, the opposite side of the aneurysm but he said, oh, there is there, but uh, already uh, I put the clip on so that I don't like to clip it. So uh, because the clip itself is uh, disturbed to the surgery itself, uh, maybe uh, uh, the lobar spectra is almost the same idea, and the deeper one first and the shallow one second. Thank you, Professor, for the answer. Yeah, I just wanted to make a comment Please, Professor. Uh, that um, you have shown a beautiful demonstration of all the difficult uh, aneurysms that one encounters. Uh, but the thing is that general uh, skill of present day neurosurgeons are far, far uh, not uh, anything to uh, your skill. So, um, the most uh, that is why uh, the endovascular people are taking over because. Um, uh, the dedication and the skill to learn and uh, for which the school uh, you have set up. And uh, this is so important for you to uh, tell the young neurosurgeons and all the neurosurgeons, those who have got interest in aneurysm surgery, if they can do the uh, job uh, skillfully like uh, anywhere like yours, that uh, clipping will be far better than endovascular without any question. And this is the important point that you must have to tell everybody. Yeah. yeah. Uh, then uh, I would like to say, please come to San Jose Academy to watch and to learn. <laughs> and one is that, but, uh, uh, but uh, I would like to say, um, yeah, you know, if uh, the young doctor is starting their own style, Maybe impossible to our level, but if they uh, learn from us, and then uh, based of the, that uh, level, then every every uh, the history is showing that uh, every young doctor is beyond us. Yeah, if we start of the uh, base of the our uh, knowledge, then everybody can go uh, beyond the, the our level. So the, we are uh, we are hoping of the youngster to, to train hardly and then uh, the, the beyond our level, uh, lobby and our, our, our me. Yes, that's true. It's Professor, true. yes, please. Who is that? Professor, I am Dr. Ramesh from Tamil Nadu. Please, sir, please ask your question. Uh, how frequently you experience uh, you decide to do bypass? In your large series, when you decide to do bypass, Be very few, very very few. Uh, maybe without bypass, I can do almost many things. That is the reason. <laughs> but uh, uh, very few uh, giant animals on the uh, one. Maybe I can, uh, or sometimes alternation flow. Uh, that one is a uh, one branch should be bypass, but very few. Uh, I I like to the original artery, very important. To the original artery reconstruction, it's much better to change the, the, the 
flow dynamics. Why there is a huge difference in your series from other series? Why there is the difference? To train the skill. <laughs> Bless, bless. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Amazing. Thank you, Professor. Thank you. Hello, Professor. Raja. Raja. Yeah. Professor Sano. Yes. Uh, good evening, sir. It was a pleasure listening to you from India. Wanted to ask you one question is, uh, what would you advise the young neurosurgeons who are presently listening to your con uh, talk? How do you prepare for each and every aneurysm surgery? Is it just on the 3D computational images or uh, there is a different approach to each and every case? I mean, I wanted to know how do you approach a case uh, of aneurysm? Yeah, uh, maybe best one is 3D CT angio and using Zio. And then uh, uh, sometimes you check the only the artery and uh, second uh, you are putting the scar and then uh, opening the uh, small craniotomy on the image by Zio system. And uh, both the, 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 the uh, aneurysm uh, from the craniotomy, and then how it looks like, and then you can shape, uh, uh, draw that picture, and then uh, if the, the, uh, from the, the, uh, the craniotomy line, uh, how, which part kind of the clip, is available. You have to image before the surgery. And without the craniotomy, maybe opposite side is capable, is, uh, but uh, the surgery is impossible. Only the, from the uh, craniotomy's approach, then you have to image how can we do it. Okay. okay. Thank you, Professor. Thank you. Uh, are there any more questions? Yeah, I have a question. Not clear. Who's that? Um, thank you to uh, Professor Sano by your presentation. It's very amazing to see your technique every time. I'm from Russia. I ask, I want to ask you, what is the role of the anesthesiologist in these kind of surgeries? I mean, during the, uh, during the very difficult time, you use some kind of anesthesi anesthetic technique like bradycardy or low pressure, low arterial pressure or these kind of things. Uh, no, uh, usually the, uh, but uh, the, I ask you to the little bit hypothermia, uh, usually, uh, maybe uh, about 35 uh, centimeters of the 36 and never hi uh, hypothermia and only that one uh, and uh, maybe nothing other, uh, I don't use the, uh, no, no, no. I, I never used that, I don't think, uh, but uh, uh, maybe uh, if you use that, uh, I don't think, uh, that is, uh, if it's ruptured, uh, premature ruptured at the time uh, without um, approaching the parent artery, maybe I don't think it's very good to approaching the uh, uh, parent artery and put the temporary clip on because only uh, 30, 40 seconds, uh, 40 seconds, maybe it's uh, adenosine, but the temporary clip can possible about five minutes or 10 minutes. Maybe less than 10 minutes, uh, uh, nothing happened. Thank you yeah. very much. Professor, I want to come in. Dr. Ait? Uh, no, uh, it's actually, I just wanted to tell you that uh, uh, that question interventions versus uh, surgeries. I've always been uh, very vocal about this, that uh, you know, the young neurosurgeons should obviously uh, go and learn from legends like Professor Sano and uh, uh, do training in surgery rather than writing papers. That's, that's one thing I just want to reiterate uh, again to all the, all the guys listening from here. I remember going to him in 2006, 2007, and uh, even now, most of the surgeries that he used to do at that time seems very difficult. Uh, and his ways of uh, drawing an aneurysm so beautifully, somebody was asking, 
how do, how how much time do you, does he need bypass? We never almost almost never seen him do a bypass for these giant difficult aneurysms. We because he he is uh, he draws this and he plans this so beautifully, and uh, he executes it beautifully too. So this is something to to learn. This is a very advanced skills that he he possesses. So uh, great to have him on board. Honor to be be there. Thank you very much. Thank you. I, I we are doctor. Uh, they said um, sometimes this is not our case. They are uh, they use very often, and but surgeon uh, almost every case. Oh, we have to try something. That is a completely different. I we are doctor. This is not our case. And then I saw escaping. But the, the, the surgeon is, uh, I have to treat um, some way and uh, even uh, difficult. But so the surgery is uh, the maybe last uh, uh, final, uh, uh, final treatment or uh, last, last hand. Yeah, maybe uh, surgery is uh, the, the, the final the, 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 uh, uh, to, uh, the, the, yes okay. first day that uh, I, I forgot uh, uh, la, mm, la, definitive treatment mm, mm, okay. yeah, uh, to the end Final thought or final uh, the, the, uh, the, the final treatment for the, uh, the patient, maybe. So that uh, we have to uh, to learn the surgery because uh, the surgery it takes a time a uh, little bit longer time than uh, IVR. So that it may be difficult way, but uh, the, uh, everybody have to learn if. Uh, they have to, to, to have uh, the, the, some uh, so, soldier's uh, mind. <laughs> Thank you, Professor Sano. Is, are, are there yeah. any questions from the participants? Uh, yes, please. Uh, Professor Sano, good morning. We met in China. I have been with Professor Ipe. It's a great honor. It has been really, really nice to hear you. Uh, I have two questions. One, if in the absence of a novel veil, we can use maybe a surge cell to wrap up the aneurysm, that's one. And two, I have to add the importance of training in microsurgery. I think it's an art that is being, has been lost, lost all these past years, all because the vascular treatment and everything. But we actually know that clipping is much better but like you pointed, it's really, really important to train the young neurosurgeons in these skills and have master like yourself or Professor Ipe to teach us through these ways. So I will ask you that if there is the opportunity to for young neurosurgeons from all over the world to go to centers like, your, like yours or Professor Ipe's or Professor Supiano, please let us know. So make the effort to learn from the best. See, now, uh, maybe best part, part is uh, the Sun Sam Gupta Academy. And uh, maybe uh, every um, two, twice or three times a year. But uh, mm -hmm. this year is difficult by uh, Corona, uh, COVID. But uh, the, maybe we'll start uh, someday again. Uh, uh, you have to ask Robin. And yeah, we are waiting, but uh, the uh, COVID is very difficult situation, so the, uh, it's postponed. Hopefully the situation will improve and we'll come back to India for the demonstration of those wonderful skills at the annual Sanus and Gupta Institute uh, workshop. Uh, I hope many universities can go there and learn. Uh, I and also, uh, uh, I am uh, trying the, the, the five times of the, the small uh, booklet and then we, uh, what we did and we made the comment of the all cases. And then we are sending to the lobbyist place and they will 
uh, make that uh, uh, some booklet and uh, you can see all the cases. Hello. Hello. Uh, yes. Directly from. Uh, uh, hello, uh, respected uh, Professor Sanu and Sen Gupta sir. <laughs> Please go ahead and. So can you hear me, sir? Yeah, we can. Hello. Oh. Oh. Yes, 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 yes. So this dependent, sir. Uh, yes, yes, I know. Regards so from you, I... your face. Oh, sir. Uh, Regards to both the professors, sir. Yeah. Uh, this is a parent institute in Neuroscience Hospital, Kolkata, sir. Yes. Okay. How is your condition? <laughs> so we are missing you. I hope to see you soon <laughs> after the corona. <laughs> well, nice to see that uh, Deepen uh, has joined from yes, uh, Kolkata and welcoming yes, uh, Professor as soon as possible, Professor Sano. Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. Enjoyed the lecture, sir, as usual. Hope to see you soon, sir. And uh, everybody, participants are welcome uh, when uh, you um, show your disposition. Uh, and then there will be an opportunity for a lot of questions to ask you. Yes. So right now, I'm in the midst of doing a corona patient, a COVID positive patient. In that case, you shouldn't be taking off the N95 mask. <laughs> oh, no, no. It's the N95 mask, full of protection. We have protective gear. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you're all, the best. You're all the best to you, Dr. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. If there are no more questions, we'll wind up this session. I would like to thank all the distinguished guests who participated in this webinar, Professor Gupta Karma, Newcastle, Professor Ayub Cheryan, and uh, of course, Professor Deep Pujari from Mumbai, and all other distinguished Yes, I would like to thank Professor Sano Sensei for this wonderful lecture on behalf of the ACRS Education Committee. Thank you, you for being the co-host. Uh, there are so many uh, ex-fellows who are already there uh, in the participants. Everyone, I, on behalf of everybody, I would like to thank you, Professor Sano. And we hope to learn from you again in the future. At, uh, of course, from the uh, annual Sengupta Sano Sengupta uh, lectures. Which you conduct. Thank you very much, Sensei. Thank you. Thank you. John, over to you, John. Yeah, we'll what see is, you. What is the show on Saturday? What is the web, webinar on? Yeah, on? yeah, yeah. It's uh, and this Saturday. I'll I'll mail you the flash. It's about the uh, cerebral organization of cerebral white matter by Igor Professor Igor Maldonado from. Uh, uh, friends, we will get the class shortly. Very good. Thank you, John. Thank you, John, for organizing this. And I thank you, everybody. Bye bye. Thanks, everybody, for coming. Yeah. Okay, okay. bye bye. <laughs> thank you, Hira.